Hey, look, I'm gonna be super transparent with you. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Like, I'm gonna be very, very transparent. For sure, that's what I expect when I talk to someone. Is this too transparent? Whoa, yeah, that's pretty transparent. How about now? It's like you're not even here. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll tone it down a bit. Is that better? Yeah, that's a good amount. Shut up! Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so, I just filmed a whole segment of an introduction video, but I was shooting in slow motion, so there's no audio to it. But here's a quick recap of that. So basically what I was saying there was, uh, hi everyone, this is Michael, he's a bit of a chode and he does video and stuff. And then I got the microphone and yelled at him. The essence of it was, Michael has uh, one hour to kill and I said don't do that here, but now he's not leaving. So he's gonna kill that hour in my house. And I thought, why not make a really ripper tutorial of some kind? So that was the initial plan. And then I thought, we don't know enough information to make a tutorial. So I thought, why not just turn this into Jackson's first podcast and we'll just talk to Michael about all things video. Put where I would be. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just centralised myself. <clears throat> Welcome to Jackson's first pod. I should flip the screen so I can see myself. Oh, is that the fruit bowl? Yeah, leave it. No, it's a nice aesthetic. The people love it. That's why they come to my channel to see the Off fruit center. aesthetic. No, no, I'm the center. That's the point, and you're the fruit aesthetic. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my first podcast. I'm Jackson Fall, your host, and this is your special guest, Michael Bond. Michael, tell the folks a little bit about yourself. My name's Michael Bond, and I enjoy parkour. You are the most unathletic person I've ever seen. There's no way you do parkour. Watch this. Whoa, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I'm a photographer, videographer. When did you first pick up a camera? <clears throat> Five years ago. Bit of backstory, we actually had a business together that went very badly. Where's the future People. of Overland Media, which is the name of the business? Where is the future of Overland Media heading? What's the end goal and dream? Um, eventually I want to make parkour movies. You're obviously filming like, what, uh, six times a week maybe? Five, six times? Yeah. What's your favorite camera setup? GH5. On there I just use a 12 to 40 mil Olympus, Olympus 2.8. What's another good question? My final question, Michael, for today, we're going to wrap this up real quick. When are you leaving? In about 45 minutes. So <laughs> you can probably go through a few more questions. <sighs> Actually, no, we're going live on live, Instagram. Live feed. Hey everyone, what's up? Um, your boy here and your other boy. So I'm actually filming my first, uh, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a podcast, but kind of not. Camera set up there. But I was, I was trying to do an interview, but I kind of ran out of questions <coughs> for Michael here. How much money did you make to... <laughs> What is it? How much money did you make today? Thank you I so much. That's deeper than just that. I can even answer Let's that. tell people how much money there is to be made with videography. If you go check out my uh, PooTube channel, link in bio, then you can see the full thing maybe tomorrow. Or if it actually turns out really bad, I might not post this at all. <laughs> views are down. So if you want to go get the views up, then maybe we'll post this. Thanks guys. Love you. Well, that went better than I thought. I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, a really good question that came out of that was the money situ. I'm gonna just be completely upfront. When I was starting out, I was charging about two, 150, or like anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars for a video. That would be like a minute to two minute video. That's just a super general thing. Like that was kind of like an event or like I'd go down to like the local bar or something and make a little promotional video for them. And that's when I was like really starting out kind of thing. I'm like now, like now I sort of charge like 210, 220 bucks. <laughs> That kind of, like, everything that I earned, I was just putting straight back into equipment. Because um, we, were, we were talking about Shit this today. <laughs> a lot of people preach that it's really, uh, it really doesn't matter whether you're filming on, like, an iPhone or something like that. And to a degree, that's true, but I really feel there's kind of, like, a undrawn graph of, like, your equipment getting better and the stuff that you can produce correlating with how much money you can then charge. Definitely the people that preach, like, oh... You don't need a good camera and then in the background they've got like GH5 or a red camera or like high-end drones you just it helps it's, it helps it's not essential but it helps also a lot. gonna learn how to get to that stage and someone's about to walk through the we're door. about to get interrupted and oh, code going in I'm guessing it? Sandy Fall aka and mother mother hello come, come join us come join us she uh, rudely interrupted we're doing a podcast oh Sandy Sunday we're gonna bring Sandy Sunday back 
Yeah. Mum, do you have a premeditated caption for... No, Dale, I can't think I'm old. I've got the food <laughs> in the car. I've <laughs> got the spot like this. I still have a real nightmare with like quoting because every job is different so it's really hard to be like charge this for a video because sometimes it might take like like a week's work sometimes it might take like four hours work i think it's kind of good to well you're probably better at this than me to be honest i no, i'm waiting to hear where you were going i was going with um it might be better to charge like an hourly rate like a certain amount for filming which would probably be more and then an amount for editing which would probably be a little bit less try and go for an hourly to see, test the waters or ask somebody that um, has done it before. Like, like we sometimes ask each other questions, like how was your day? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. You seem nervous. Why are you, why are you nervous? <laughs> Putting together a quote for someone that's asked for a job, do you start with a, a base flat rate for just you being there and then you add on top of that an hourly rate? Uh, how do you kind of equate it? I usually include the hourly rate for how, like as soon as that time hits, all right, camera's on, go, where that's it, like that's the hourly rate from there. Um, what about, then do you add on like the additional costs of like driving or like? Uh, yeah, have a travel cost. Most companies or people aren't too bad with travel costs. What do I charge? It depends. I usually give like a free radius for people within a certain area and then Anything outside of that, I just charge 50 cents a kilometer, I think I charge. I'm actually using this information because I did a job for you <laughs> yesterday and I was going to include travel, but I wasn't sure. So thank you for that. Except how big is your radius? Uh, 200 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, 3,000. <laughs> just one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh yeah, cool. Um, all right, thank you for watching the first podcast of what will probably be not too many. Honestly, this may be the only one. First and last. But Michael, it was a pleasure having you and I hope that our insight into some... I think the best thing we got out of that was the money. We didn't even answer, really answer the questions that we were given. However, Which we only get it ended anyway. <laughs> yep. I'm answer. over it. <laughs> See you later. I'm over it, you're probably over it. Thank you, Michael. See you next time. <laughs> Amazing. What incredible content. How much money did you make today? We're not going to go into that today. <laughs> I did one job that took about an hour and I made about 200 bucks. Plumbing? Was that a plumbing job? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. That was a drone job. Find somebody in the industry to help guide you a little bit. Maybe even Michael Bond. He's, he wants to be a metaphor. Not <laughs> a metaphor. Like, what's the, when you're like, oh, mentor. He wants to be a mentor, not a metaphor.